Hello, it's Julie Daniluk, and I'm here to serve up another dose of Juicy Vitality. Today, I am so passionate to bring you my top five swap and drops for genetically modified organisms. I've been fighting GMOs since 1999, and I can't believe how easy it is to really focus in on avoiding these if you want to. I gotta tell you, here's the hot list. The big one to start out with, get rid of genetically modified canola oil and soya oil. You wanna look for this on the packages of everything from crackers to cookies. It is really invasive in even natural food, so you want to make sure to read the label and look for healthier alternatives. Avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, these are safe oils that are not genetically modified at this time. Make sure that the olive oil you're using is real. Did you know that a lot of olive oil is fake? If it's light olive oil, if it's packed in a plastic container that you can see straight through it and it doesn't have any green tinge whatsoever, be concerned. We want to really focus on authentic olive oil Know your farmer, know where you get it from. If it's certified organic, then it has a paper trail from farmer to plate. So that is a really good option. Moving on, I now really want you to consider what are we gonna do about American dairy? American dairy is a big culprit because the cows grown in America often are injected with bovine growth hormone. And this is a very dangerous technology that can potentially increase your risk of cancer. So we're so lucky in Canada that we, we have a law against it, but a lot of US dairy comes up from the States, so even Canadians should be concerned around products, dairy products that are actually from the United States. Please focus on alternatives to dairy to be absolutely safe. Can you try out coconut ice cream? Can you try out cashew milk? Can you try out uh, making your own hemp milk, which is a beautiful recipe from Sewing Meals That Heal? Can you consider how beautiful it is to, to try on um, a, a beautiful cheese that's also made from my book, or you can actually have cheese made from safe things like tapioca that are commercially available. Moving on, I really want you to consider corn chips are one of the worst genetically modified foods on the planet. The reason why I think corn chips, taco shells, corn flakes are the most disgusting GMO of all is because it's one of the GMOs where the protein package, the DNA itself, is left really intact. With oils, we extract the protein, but with the actual corn chips and corn products, the gene package is left there we have a virus vector, we have antibiotic resistant marker genes, we have strange proteins that may be really increasing your allergenicity. So I want you to focus on really moving away from any conventional corn at all. If you have to buy any corn product, is it non-GMO verified? You should look for the label, non-GMO verified, non-GMO project verified. And that will ensure that the product has been tested from field to table and that it's safe. I really want you to also consider maybe organic popcorn is a nice snack choice. If you have to eat a corn product, at least organic popcorn is not genetically modified at this time and is a safer thing to be trying on. And organic popcorn um, just is so delicious and flavorful. I love air popping it and then adding my favorite seasoning afterwards. Really good idea. Okay, I really, really find it sneaky that in, um, in the States, we're also dealing with genetically modified papaya from Hawaii. So could you potentially swap out genetically modified papaya for safer pineapple? Pineapple has very similar properties. So in papaya, you have papain, which is the anti-inflammatory enzyme, and in pineapple, you have bromelain. So let's look to uh, the enzymes bromelain in a, in a capsule form, if that's what you need for digestion, or also think of pineapple peeled because the thick skin protects you from the pesticides and really enjoying that as an anti-inflammatory treat. 
consider eating the core because the core is highly packed with anti-inflammatory enzymes. And last but not least, I really want you to consider avoiding refined sugar, as refined sugar at this time is dreadful and is not only an addictive poison, but riddled with genetically modified beets. So please look to coconut sugar as a beautiful alternative, and it's a staple in a lot of my beautiful recipes. So check out more Slimming Meals That Heal and the beautiful Meals That Heal Inflammation recipes that is available all over my website and in my cookbooks. All right, next up, we wanna consider a replacement for soya sauce because it is such a popular seasoning in any sort of Asian recipe. Look for coconut aminos, otherwise known as coconut seasoning, AKA also coconut sauce. It goes by many names, but it's wonderful that they've actually fermented coconut nectar into a beautiful seasoning that works really well as a direct substitute for soya beans. Also, you can find non-GMO project verified tamari if you do well with soy. My most passionate request is that you ask your grocer to never carry the genetically modified apple, AKA the Arctic apple. The Arctic apple has been genetically modified to remove the browning gene. But what, what shocks me is that the browning gene also is very important for the immune system of the apple. Did you know that that apple could rot before you even know that it's gone bad because it is artificially kept white. So please consider beautiful organic alternatives like shopping for ambrosia apples that have a natural non-browning effect. Enjoy nature's bounty and really thoroughly pull towards you that juicy vitality. And I look forward to bringing you more soon. Take care.